Hi everyone, it's Pat here from Scribner Art and Design. I'm in my studio today and I'm working on a small panel that is one of my morning meditation paintings. So this is six by six inches and it's a one and a half return on it. I've covered the edges with tape just to keep it clean as you can see. And I put some texture pastes on the top that are compatible with cold wax and oil paint and I put a coat of red iron oxide acrylic paint which is soaked into this and it's all ready to get started. So let's take a look and I'll meet you on the other side. I'm starting on a heavy textured background that I've used with various acrylic pastes that work with cold wax and oil and I put a layer of iron oxide on the background out of acrylic and it's soaked in a lot so it's still very absorbent. I'm using a palette knife to add my paint and I have mixed up some cerulean blue with white and the first color you saw me put down was um, yellow ochre and I've added white to it. So I'm painting very intuitively. This is a painting uh, from my morning meditation series and I normally go down to the ocean. There's a, a set of stairs about a block from my home and it's a great way to get some exercise and have a reward at the bottom uh, to look out at the ocean which is different every day. So I'm adding some dark values here with burnt umber and again still working wet into wet so you can see that these colors are, are blending and you have to be cautious uh, how much blending you do so that you don't end up with everything being brown. I like to let some of the background bits peek through too just to give it a little bit of unification through the piece. So I'm using pure white in the sky at this point just to be able to get some light back into the surface and I'm adding a bit of blue into it. I'm not really looking to make a horizon line but just give the essence of what my impression of the day would be um, when I come back from my walk. So it might have been windy and blustery, it might have been calm. Uh, I'm just kind of evoking the emotion as I put the paint down. So now you can see I've added a lot of gold back in. And I've got my Messermeister scraper and this is a silicone bowl scraper that has a nice thin beveled edge. And you're really able to move the paint around and blend with it. So blending is an important part of working with cold wax and oil. And this really smooths it out. It's important when you have textured pieces that you have some calm areas as well. It's nice to have that contrast. So in this case I'm making my sky be a little more calm feeling and then have more of the textures coming into the foreground. I like turning my panels as I paint because it gives um, me a different perspective on the painting but also sometimes it's easier uh, to handle the scraper if if it's going in the direction that you want the paint to go in. So I just like turning it as I work. Again a little bit more blending in the foreground. I'm going to add a little bit of line and I'm using a knitting needle for this and Mark making is a big part of my work and I think line is a big part of painting but at the same time you don't want to get too carried away especially in the end uh, near the end of your painting it can 
not always be a good thing if you just make a lot of marks that aren't um, meant to be there. So here you see me using a basting brush and just kind of softening things and adding a little bit of, of fine texture. I felt it needed a little more dark, so I'm coming in with a dark phthalo blue at the bottom. So I'm going to try working wet on wet as long as possible. I may not totally finish the painting, but I'll get a lot of it down. And working wet into wet like this, um, it's very immediate and you don't have a lot of time to change your mind about things. So I find if I can get into my flow state, it's really good. So here I'm putting on some solvent and I've given it time to set up and I'm scraping it away. Unfortunately, I didn't really give it enough time to set up. So it's taking a little bit off, but it's not really uh, doing what I expected it to do. And that's just because I didn't wait for it to set up enough. Patience is a virtue sometimes. And that's why it's handy to work on more than one piece at a time. So a little bit more smoothing. Looking at it from upside down is always a good thing. Just checking out your composition. Just going to add a little bit more lightness to the sky. So I have a nice range of values going on from the top to the bottom. And that's really important to check your values as you're working because that's often the problem with a painting is the values are too close to each other. So you just saw me try to pick out a little imperfection there that was bothering me. So I'm going to smooth this out again. Some of this could be for my texture underneath the beauty in cold wax and oil, if you want to get rid of something, you can just keep adding more layers and you will get quite thick paint, but you can get rid of your texture. So more blending and smoothing. And again, I'm holding the Messer Meister quite flat against the surface, that's another thing. Otherwise, you're going to be pulling the paint off instead of it staying on. So it depends what you want to do. Making a few marks with a knitting needle again, just bringing a little bit of line down into the forefront. There's always lots of grasses and movement like this down at the um, ocean so I like to evoke some of that and I think I'm going to leave it for now for today and I might make some adjustments but that gives you an idea. found that useful and maybe got a few tips that you can use yourself. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button for notifications when I post up new videos. I really appreciate you tuning in and watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.